Hey, it's Justin Kanoy, a DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, we're taking a look at a feature in Virtual DJ 2021 that helps you correctly tag your music files with the correct year that that song came out. Let's check it out. Let's say you're doing a high school reunion, or maybe you're even doing a wedding, and the couple graduated from high school in 2002, or you're doing a high school reunion for the class of 1995. Wouldn't it be really great if you could pull songs from that specific year? It'd be so much easier. I decided at some point I needed to really dig in and properly tag these years, but just knowing it was gonna take a long time. And then enters this brand new feature in Virtual DJ 21 in build 6106 that specifically says, in the browser file info tab, the year is clickable to look up from Discogs when empty and last played play count clickable to look up song in playlists and history. Now what's also interesting, this will uh, also fill out the album and the genre fields if they're blank as well. So let me just show you how that works. I'm gonna open this tag editor for the Martin Page song and again, as long as the fields are empty, uh, Discogs will pull, or will I guess will send the data to Virtual DJ and update everything properly, assuming that everything kind of works out right. So I'm gonna kind of start over. I'm gonna delete the genre field. I'm gonna delete the year. Okay, so I hit okay. And now we can see that I have album empty, genre empty, and year is empty. So let's do this again. Right click on the year field, fill missing info from Discogs, and there we go. However, we can see that they did not correctly fill out the genre field, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to pop, and then we're done. All right, now what about if you need to sort of batch process a ton of stuff? Well. I've got to do that. Unfortunately, there isn't just like a right click and you know change them all. You're still gonna have to individually click on everything, but there is a way to at least clear the year field out of all these. So I've selected these five songs. Um, I'm gonna right click and go to Tag Editor. Now this is, if you've never done this, is what it looks like when you're doing uh, batch tagging. And you can see because everything has multiple value, um, and actually it's kind of neat because it'll give you the options if like you perhaps wanted to tag all these with UB40 I could do that we don't want to do that though um, and the only one that is consistent of course is the year field is 1980 so here I'm gonna highlight that and delete it hit OK okay so now the year field is cleared from that and we can start clicking on here so let's just see how well this works 1986 all right Edie Brickell, 1988, all right. Rock Me Amadeus, another 80s song, good. It's working, UB40, 19, did that song really come out in 83? I'm not sure, okay. And that's all, great Genesis song. 2014, so here you go. Again, a lot of this is gonna be um, a little bit of a crapshoot. You can see at least the first few worked, um, others did not. And so these, I'm just going to have to kind of come up with some kind of a system to sort of set them to the side. Maybe I'll throw them in the side list um, to, to, to research later. Now one last thing when it comes to batch processing, you might want to also search your entire database for songs that have the year field blank already. That'll be a quick way to, to at least get things started. Um, and so the best way to do that is to just set up a filter folder to show you all songs in the database that have the year field blank. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to click on create a filter folder and let's just call this blank year. And your filter is going to be year equals zero. And this is the database. And so now you can see right here all of these tracks, and this is embarrassing almost, 4,400 tracks 
don't have the year. There are some samples in here. I will at least give myself some credit there. Look at all these samples. That's fine. They don't need a year. Um, there's a lot in here. Well, I've got my work cut out for me, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.